Secondly, if this was a legitimate organization, he should receive the Nobel Prize for this. This is a massive, massive deal. Um, but let, me, let me stay in the Middle East and just talk to you a little bit about Beirut. Um, another really devastating blow to uh, Iran and Hezbollah. Um, but they're not going to take this sitting down. It looks like that bomb was, t it wasn't a bomb, but it was bomb making supplies and, and uh, all nefarious stuff. Uh, it wasn't fireworks. Uh, it looks like uh, Hezbollah is on the run in uh, Beirut and uh, the people are turning against them. But they're not going to take this lying down. What do you see for the future in uh, Beirut, in the immediate future? I think in the immediate future we'll see tension between the uh, the people of Lebanon and, and Hezbollah. Hezbollah's never, never, and this is true of all these other terrorist groups as well, you know, they've never been good at governing. You know, Hamas is a, an abject failure at governing the Gaza Strip. Hezbollah is an abject failure. They brought nothing but misery, uh, misery and more misery to their people. Um, the problem is this. The problem is that they have a lot of weapons. Just like the same thing with Hamas. It's really identical to Hamas in the Gaza Strip. They got a lot of weapons. It's a brutal regime. No human rights. No respect for uh, for any uh, any human rights at all. So in those environments, and Iran is no different. You know, the the people are miserable, and the people are ready to rise up. But you know. Uh, it, it's, it's really hard to rise up against a brutal regime that is uh, massi massively more powerful. Uh, I'm praying for the people of Lebanon that they can somehow eject Hezbollah. They've done nothing, nothing but disaster for the people of Lebanon, and uh, it's, 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 it's the same as the Palestinians in Gaza. Um, it's, it's, it's a heartbreaking situation. And I would under, I would, uh, I would guess that unlike the Obama administration, if the people did rise up, that we would at least have very vocal moral support for for those freedom fighters and the people who are crying out. Yeah, yeah we, we've done that all around the world. I mean, it's not just in the Middle East. I mean, we have it right in our own backyard in Venezuela. I mean, yes, we are on record as supporting the, the people who rise up against these brutal, oppressive regimes. Thank you very much. Thank you for your service to the uh, country uh, and uh, to peace in the Middle East. Um, again, congratulations on this, and I hope we have four more years to uh, truly cement uh, the what, what's happening uh, with the United States and Israel. I, I agree with you. They are our number one ally. I also agree with you when somebody says they're going to kill you uh, and wipe you out. Uh, you better listen to them every single time, especially when they have a track record of doing it. Amen. Thank you, Glenn. Great talking to you. Thanks. You bet. The U.S. Ambassador to Israel. So here we are trying to put our country back together. Um, do you see the school districts still? I mean, this, you know, you said yesterday that, that wow. Well, uh, you know, why, why are you saying that uh, we're, you know, uh, so shut down? We're, we're, we're really opening up. And you know what? You're absolutely right on that. Most of the country is on the road to opening back up, and there's some good in unemployment numbers, et cetera, et cetera. But then I see these things, like I can't remember, it's, I think it's in California. Some of these schools are saying they're not opening up the entire year. They're not opening up. Oh, yeah, if you're in California, you're totally screwed. I was talking about America, the, uh, the part. Uh, the <laughs> okay, other, all right, the part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, did I, did I tell you that scientists um, are thinking that the San Andreas Fault may have a big earthquake and part of California may just drift into the sea? So are we on the good news or the bad news part of the... That was the good... That was... The good. Well, I don't know. Uh, the zip recruiter. If you... If you are... Uh, if you are getting ready to open and uh, or you need to get new employees or you know bring some new people on uh zip recruiter can help you zip recruiter they they are not a uh, business of despair they are a business of the future and they will help you build it with exactly the right people you hire one bad apple and it does spoil the whole bunch babe Wow, did I just quote a 70s song from the Osmonds? I think they just did. Um, ZipRecruiter is so effective, I feel like Pat, so effective that 
four out of five employers who post there get a quality candidate within the first day. I can testify that's true because we've done it. We've seen it. I mean, we were in a place where like, I gotta have somebody today, but get, get ZipRecruiter. And that day, we had a qualified candidate. We hired somebody uh, after, I think, somebody that had uh, uh, applied through ZipRecruiter, they found them within the first 24 hours. I mean, it, it, they're remarkable. Try it for free right now at ZipRecruiter.com slash back. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash back. The smartest way to hire. You're listening to Glenn Beck. News Radio 920 and 104.7 FM. Nobody had a clue. 